hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can read write and control coil status of our modbus tcp device using the lab view okay so in the lab view project in the lab view dashboard we have some switches from that switches we can control the coil status of our modbus tcp ip device we can turn it on or we can turn it off okay now what is the agenda of this video that we want to log the holding register data of our modbus tcp ip device into the csv file okay so we are going to read the holding register data of our modbus tcp ip device and we will log that data into csv file using the lab view so let's see how we can do that so here is my you know modbus simulator modbus slave software I'll go to setup and slave definition and here I'm going to select the holding register because I want to log the data of the holding register. So this is fine and slave ID is one function code three for holding register and we can go to connection we can connect and here is our connection parameter. So let me open lab view project parallelly. So connection type is mode based TCP IP. So we have this IP address of localhost and the port number 10502 which I have mentioned here and unit ID is one which I have mentioned here connection timeout 10,000 millisecond and starting address and number of register so once we connect it okay so you can see our Modbus uh, TCP IP device is up and running in the simulator now we want to log the data of this four holding register into the CSV file okay now we have to do some uh, configuration for our CSV file that on which path our CSV file will be created so I can select my path from here that I want to you know store my CSV file on my desktop okay file path will be modified later on okay now what is the delimiter okay so you if you want to change the delimiter okay uh, apart from comma then you can just write it like I want to you know set the delimiter like this one or I want to you know use the pipeline for delimiter you can do that but for uh, you know CSV file we are going to use the comma separated values and what is the interval of our data logging so every 2000 millisecond our data will be logged into the CSV file so it means every two seconds we will log our data into the CSV file now for the sample uh, I am showing you the holding register value on the screen okay if you want to log more data then also you can do it but as of now let's start the you know lab view project okay now you can see every holding register value is zero i can change the holding register values from here like auto increment and it will be auto increment okay so four holding register is auto incrementing you can see the values here and my data is logging into the csv file you can see current file path so today is 10 december 2023 and file is created at 11 am in the morning 50 minute and 59 second okay so the file is created on my desktop i can go to my desktop and i can see the file is created okay now it is logging the data without any problem once we stop this lab view project then only we can you know open the csv file if the lab view project is running and we open the csv file then it will give us the error because at that time file is not accessible to log the data okay so we have to stop this and we have to open this csv file okay so you can see holding register 0 1 2 3 and you can see the data here okay you can expand the first column you can you know format cell go to custom and uh, yeah if you want to see the second here you have to add ss okay you can see 58 00 02 04 so it is logging the data at every two seconds okay now if i want to log the fourth holding register data then also i can do it okay so i just have to don't save it i have to go to lab view uh, just increase the number of registers so i want to increase uh, it to five okay so i want to log five holding register data so here i just have to write holding register four okay that's it so holding register zero one two three and four so i want to log this five holding register data into csv file okay so folder location is same the new csv file will be created with the latest timestamp okay so this file was created at 11 50 59 okay right now the time is different so based on the time 
the new file will be created okay so now this is done uh, I can run my lab view project I can simulate my last holding resistor okay now the file is created on my desktop you can see the file properties yeah so file is created at 115343 and the previous file was created at 115059 okay so the new file is created after three minutes and it is logging the data you can see the size of the file is 475 bytes okay now let me open the desktop here and let me go to detail okay this one is the latest file you can see the size 2 kb okay you can see the file size got increased okay so uh, more more the data you log okay the file size will increase based on that okay we are logging the data at every two seconds so every two seconds we have a new row and uh, um, based on that the file size will increase so if i stop the project and if i open the file you can see we have uh, one more column here okay let me open the previous file yeah this is the previous file you can see hr0 hr1 2 and 3 and we have added here hr4 as well okay and you can you know format the timestamp column and you can have a second as well okay so i hope this thing is clear that you can log your morbus tcp device data into the csv file using lab view all you have to do is you have to just select the number of register you want to log in the csv file you have to set the column name here and then you can start your logging you can expand this okay suppose if you want to log 125 holding register then also you can expand it okay and if you want to log multiple device data then also you can uh, you know change the backend programming and you can log into the csv file so that is possible now if i start this pro project again the new file will be created based on the current time so if i start it then you can see new file will be generated based on the current time 11 56 33 and five holding register is logging into that file now if i open the file here then here you can see file is not able to open okay you so it got it it is giving the error because lab view is not able to access the file because we have opened it okay so that is how it will handle the error and if you want to you know skip those things okay if someone open the csv file and if you don't want to log the data at that time then also you can you know, change the programming in the backend and you can also do that so i hope this thing is clear and uh, you can buy this project from our shopify website i will provide the link in the description of this video also you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram you can also send an email if you want to buy this project or if you want to create some new project based on this project okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt related to this one then you can also ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere so Let's meet in the next video and in the next video instead of CSV data logging we are going to log our Morbus holding register data into the SQLite database. Okay so right now we are logging the data into the CSV file. Okay but sometime we don't want to log the data into CSV file we want to log the data into the database. So that also we can do. So first we will check for the SQLite database. We will see for the SQLite database and then we will move forward and we will see for the MySQL database. So we will log holding register data into SQLite database and then in the next video we will see for MySQL database. So stay tuned for the next video and we will meet you in the next video. Till then take care, goodbye and thank you.